Okay, opposition to the New Deal. Now, if you get a question about this, you can just look at specific groups, or you can name a person like, you know, Huey Long or something like that. It's totally up to you, whatever you feel most confident with. So Huey Long, he was basically a radical politician who had something called Share Our Wealth Project. So he believed that if he was president, he would confiscate all fortunes of $5 million and over, and then share out all the wealth so everybody would have enough money to live and a house to, to live in and a car and enough food and radio in the house and all those types of things. The problem with that was, although some people like the idea of that, you can't really just take all the money off the rich people and absolutely Roosevelt knew that. Now a group of people who did oppose the New Deal were the rich because they fundamentally got nothing out of it and they just bankrolled and paid for the New Deal. So the poor people were being helped by the taxes being increased for the rich. So they really, really hated the New Deal. And they genuinely felt that the New Deal was just a big waste of money. And, you know, why couldn't they find some better way of trying to help people in America? Now, Roosevelt obviously was a member of the money class. He was from the upper classes. And the rich hated him so much, they actually refused to mention his name at dinner parties. He was completely ostracised and things like that. People didn't want to, you know, sort of speak to him in that class because they felt that he was taking all the money off them to help the poor. Another group that opposed the New Deal are the people called the Supreme Court. So the Supreme Court in America, and still today, is made up of nine judges. And you couldn't just sack one of the judges or, you know, get rid of them and put your own ones in. When you came in as President of America, if there was more Republican judges in there and you were a Democrat, it was just tough. So when he comes in as President Roosevelt, unfortunately, there's more Republican judges in the Supreme Court than there is Democrats. So the Republicans are clearly against him because they don't believe in government intervention. They think people should just get on with it themselves. And the Supreme Court is well believed that the things that Roosevelt were doing with, was doing with the New Deal was against the American Constitution. They felt he was interfering in state laws and he shouldn't have been. So although he would have liked to have put in another six judges to make it up to 15, so he got the majority, he wasn't allowed to because that was seen as being against the American Constitution. So unfortunately he wasn't able to do that. So the Supreme Court stopped him from doing a lot of things. Now another group that you can talk about, and this connects to the Supreme Court, is the Republicans themselves. So the Republicans believe in rugged individualism. They believe about pulling yourself out of the depression or pulling yourself out of your own problems. And it's a laissez-faire sort of government. So they do not believe in government intervention whatsoever. So the Republicans were totally against the New Deal. They couldn't have been more against it because everything that Roosevelt was doing was interfering in state law and people's lives and they absolutely were against that happening. Big business. Big business absolutely hated it. And the reason they hated the New Deal is all those NRA codes were there for those people to follow. So a good example, as I said, is Henry Ford. He thought the New Deal was absolutely killing him. And you could actually quote that, because that's what he said. He thought all the money he was having to pay was killing him. And also, they had to do things like no child labour, so there was no cheap labour for them. They had to follow fair wages and conditions and had to put safety guards on machines and all of those types of things. So all of that cost the people an awful lot of money. So so that you're clear with this, there's lots of different groups that aren't really that keen on the New Deal. And another group, and I know it sounds ironic, but it is a thing that you can put in the exam, and it is important. The people who were still unemployed. There was always four million still under, unemployed during Roosevelt's New Deal. So if you're sitting there thinking, well actually, he's been in for say three years, and I've never seen a job, those people didn't think he'd done enough. They thought, well I can't see where a job's coming from. So in terms of that, they felt hard done to, and a lot of people who were in this group were black people. They felt really disappointed in the New Deal. And it wasn't really that they opposed the New Deal, they could see what he was trying to do, 
but it did appear to be a new deal for white America. Now this is absolutely not Roosevelt's fault. He wasn't racist at all, and never write that in an exam, because that would be totally incorrect. But how it was in those days, is it would be white America would go back out to work first, and that's exactly what happened during the New Deal. Not because Roosevelt necessarily wanted it to look like he was racist, but he had to get white Americans back out to work. So some people never got empl em employed under the New Deal. So that was a major concern for some of them. And obviously his critics would say that that was the reason that the New Deal wasn't the success that everybody thought it was.